Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Place Factorio Space Exploration. I'm just having a quick look at Norvis and I've just noticed some horrible train related tangles going on here. Um, I think I need to work out what's been going on before I do anything else. So this train is trying to get in. Ah, this train is... oh. Right. So the problem is this train has come here to pick up some glass and is now not able to take it anywhere. Right. Um, that, that's kind of awkward. <clears throat> I think we're just going to have to make it do that anyway. Um, and then try and em empty out as best as it can. Um, what's more concerning is now that looks as if this next train is also trying to go in there. Don't go to black glass pickup. And certainly don't drop it off at the same place because that's already full. We've just established that. And I'm going to keep an eye, a quick eye on this because what usually happens is when you end up with a problem like that, LTN then tries to shove enormous numbers of trains in because, it's, so it sees, it tries to put one train in there, and then that train doesn't take the, doesn't get the stuff through so it assumes something's gone wrong with it, and it tells another train to do the same sort of route, so this just gets a bit silly and you end up with all of your trains trying to go to the same same place and all pick it up, which could be why there was a second train trying to take that glass down to here, in fact um, and I don't know where that train's gone, maybe it's that one? It's a little bit worrying, anyway. So whatever's happening... Yeah, this one's trying to do the same. Don't do that. <laughs> Are there any other trains with this station? That one's going to depot. That one's going to... What's happened to the one that's actually full of glass? <laughs> oh no, it's all it's all going wrong. No, is that it? I can't tell. No, it's going in there, okay. So what I think is probably going to happen is we're going to end up with a train full of glass here in the depot fairly soon. And then I'm going to have to sort that one out. Or we're going to end up with a train down here trying to drop glass off with the, la the uh, low density structures. So this is a rather odd point to join at. I um, Everything's a bit of a mess and I'm just trying to work out what on earth is going on. Uh, we seem to have lots of trains returning to the depot, which is a good thing because it means they can start being used for other things. I don't know what's happened. It can't have emptied that quickly, can it? Um, okay, well, let's not worry too much about that. Let's get on with something else, shall we? <laughs> so, the reason I've um, the reason I brought you here today. So, in the in the last episode, we were talking about all the stuff I was getting up onto Henkes Esme over here, and this was my big um, Holmium production facility. And I'm not going to talk about this anymore because I've I've talked about it to death. It's it, it, it's done, um, and I've got to the stage where, as you can see here, we're absolutely full of. Um, Holmium. The rocket is completely full and ready to go off wherever. The blue circuits aren't working quite as effectively. This is only 29%, 29,000 in it, which I think is about a third full. I think I think you get up to 100,000 in a rocket with, with blue circuits because they stack up to 200, 000, uh, 200 each. And then the glass one is, is working as well because that's just supposed to be a disposal system for getting rid of any excess. So that's working quite nicely. It's all a bit it's all a bit sort of tangled in and afterthoughty. In, in, I sort of came in and built it up without really thinking it through quite well enough or rather I came in I dropped in this big section over here that all went, all went in that went in fine and then I realized oh I'm going to need all of these supplies so I started cramming those in all around it and it's this this part is then a bit of a mess so I've been doing a bit of um, a bit of thinking and one of the things I did bet um, between episodes is I produced a, uh, a recipe for sorry not a recipe a blueprint uh, for using creative mod uh, this, this is essentially, this is a very, very similar to this one. As you see, if I put it over there, it lines up extremely well. Um, but actually, this is processing iridite. So at the bottom, at least it should be. Those all look very, very pink. Oh, it's got the blue things in at the top. Um, okay, maybe it's just maybe it's just the lighting because the way it's highlighted as a, as, a, um, as, as a blueprint. So this is basically exactly the same thing as one of these modules, but it's for processing iridium instead. So the instructions are slightly different. We're making blue beads instead of red beads, but other than that, it's exactly the same. Um, oh no, there is one other difference. You need to put in, um, for this this stage, yes, this stage, this smelting stage, you need to put in um, vulcanite as well as, the, as well as the powder. And for this stage, instead of putting in vulcanite, you need to put in... Um, Cryonite. <clears throat> so it's got it's, it's it's the requirements are slightly different. You need to have three. You need to have an extra input. So I'm going to end up with three of these sort of stations. I think uh, airport uh, airport no um, rocket landing pads. There we go. Use some words, Lawrence. 
Uh, there's going to be one for the one for bringing in Vulcanite, one for bringing in Cryonite, and one for bringing in Rocket Parts. I may also need to consider having one for bringing in um, Iron as well. Uh, no, maybe not. No, Iron is okay. And that's going to give me an opportunity to go out to Kothar, where I've made a, um, a rather stupid mistake. I screwed up the uh, Kovarek system here, so that's so, so this place has just completely run out of nuclear fuel. It's gone to sleep, and everything is broken. Um, and to add insult to injury, the meteor defense cannons are being taken out by meteors. So I'm going to need to head out there and fix some things there. And towards that, in, in that, towards that effort, I've, I've made up some. Um, to-do lists for the various different planets I'm going to. So, for example, Henkes Esri, next time I go there, I need a centrifuge because this is, um, I didn't, I've got the nuclear plant is working absolutely fine. I think I've got three of them on there now because it's using so much power, but I kept forgetting to take out an additional centrifuge to deal with the, um, the spent nuclear fuel cells. So they're just building up in a box at the moment. So I need, I need to sort that out. Ganymede, not too bad. I just need a few more power poles out there for meteor defense and maybe a bit more um, fuel creation although at the moment it seems to be okay Kothar well as I said I need to fix the power because my Kovarex failed here I need to put in more meteor defences as well and I need, need to scale everything up for rocket shipments so that's what that blueprint I was talking about is for <clears throat> and then on Norvis I discovered um, well I need to finish out the, finish the expansion because I, I was talking about this in previous episodes um, I've got this bit over here where I'm trying to expand out to get a bit of extra territory to get some extra things like this, this copper mar uh, patch and some of these coal patches. So at some point when I'm a bit bored of building and thinking I need to come in and do some brainless build, brainless work and just put some walls around here and across here and across here and around here uh, probably across there actually to try and wall off all this area because I've got the, the, the there's a bit of sort of, a bit of threat around here from the from all these biters that could potentially get into the base from the bottom. So I need to do something about that. Um, I also discovered that I'm running low on um, oil, coal, and stone on this planet. The stone is particularly is specifically because I was making so much glass for these um, low-density structures. And now that I'm importing that as a waste product from other planets, that's not going to be so much of a pressing issue. So hopefully, I'll be able to just um, not 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 do any more of that, and it, it's not going to be a problem. Um, but we shall see. There's or, there's another. Stop being. Stop it. Just stop going to this station. I'm gonna. I'm going to close this station, I think, because... Ah, I'm going to not be able to use it. Right, let's try it again. I'm going to close that station because it's just causing problems at the moment. This train, I don't know what I don't know what it's doing. What, what, what are you even doing? Go to that one. And stay there until you're empty. Goodness sake. It's going to the right place. Okay. So what I'm going to do here... Why is that... Why is... Okay, I don't know why that's still yellow. That shouldn't be yellow. So what I'm going to do is unwire that station. Just turn it off completely. So that one should now no longer be used for anything. And if I start to have glass problems, then I'll I'll sort that out later. Where is that train that I just sent here? It can't have unloaded that quickly, can it? And I said stay until empty. It has unloaded that quickly. That's very weird. Um, yes, yeah, so this is a bit worrying. I don't know what's going on with these trains, but there's clearly something stupid happening, and I don't like it. Um, anyway, as I was saying, so because of that, I've been getting through massive quantities of, of stone, um, and it's not yeah I don't know I don't know what's going on there uh, massive quantities of stone and I seem to be getting through a lot of coal because I'm turning it into plastic and I've been getting through a lot of what's the other thing oil but again because I'm turning it into plastic so I've put in a couple of new mines there's a new coal mine up here uh, a new oil mine down here that I've forgotten to radar and there's some, these coal patches I want to come in and put mines in for those as well and that one as well at some point just to just sort of to finish it all off and get everything set up and properly uh, all, all, all supplied properly, but again, that would would benefit quite a lot from having proper defences around here because it's a bit exposed at the moment. So that's how things are going down on on the on the planets. Um, yeah, there's a lot a lot to to faff around with. What's a bit more interesting is I've also been doing some work up in orbit, and so we've uh, I've done some done some building work up here. Um, what have I done? So I mentioned before I've got the um, 
system up here that's producing the the memory cards and that's now working flat out is working properly everything's going going well here i've got the um the the the, the rough substrates coming in here, the polished ones going out, and then being turned into, into the memory cards and shipped out on this belt. And as you can see, this belt is now full, which is nice. So that's all that's all working as it should. Um, the problem this ran into was this storage tank here filled up with contaminated cosmic water. And I didn't have any trains running. I didn't have anywhere to do the recycling for it when I put this together. So that just filled up and then sat there going, nope, no can do. So the next thing I did was built up this, this recycling center down here. And this is going to get quite a lot bigger, I suspect, over time. But what I've got here is I've got a train that goes out and picks up all of the junk that's going to be picked up by the various different processes. So we've got the um, contaminated cosmic water. This one gets scrap. This one gets contaminated scrap. And this one gets contaminated bio sludge. They're all being fed through the system here. And this is the same as the one I had over here for the bio, um, next to the biologicals. It's almost exactly the same. You, you, it looks, you may tell, it looks almost almost identical as well. It's got the three, um, what they call three decontamination facilities up next to each other. Um, the difference is that down here, I've spaced them out a little bit more for to make building easier. Um, and I put the uh, scrap processing here as well. And this is definitely going to need to be expanded quite a lot once I start producing um, material sciences, because that produces scrap very, very quickly. But essentially it's the same sort of idea. So we feed the dirty cosmic water in here. This gets purified by this machine and it spits out um, bio sludge, which is presumably what you get when you skim the contaminants off the top of the cosmic water. And occasionally it'll produce some contaminated scrap as well, which is, I guess, the solids that are floating in the contaminated cosmic water. I don't know. But that means you get a load of cosmic, clean cosmic water coming back out again. And so at the moment, I've got this going down this really long pipe and being fed in over here. Um, and this is... This is where the this is where the cosmic water is actually being made. So I've got the pump and the, and the tank here that essentially keep all of this balanced and make sure I've got room for the cosmic water to be pumped along here. Um, so this will only run when the tank is nearly empty, and then it pushes it off up here towards the station. So there's always a full, full tanks up up there in the station. Um, I've also got so that's going in there. Then the the contaminated cosmic water no contaminated biosolid goes in here where it gets turned into more of the contaminated scrap again as you filter some more of the solids out of it i guess and the um and and clean bio sludge now i'm not using bio sludge around here that's just being used that that only gets used for biological sciences so at the moment i'm just going to be feeding it out into these tanks that will eventually take it away and do something and, and take it over to a biological science area where i'll have to do some sort of cunning system of making sure it's making sure there's always room for this train to go over and dump it before i make any over there and the reasoning um, actually, let's, let's use the reason I've done that, I was considering actually making the um, the bio sludge here and shipping it all off to the um, to the to the biological sciences. But when I looked into it, I discovered that well, to make the um, to make the bio sludge is a sort of it's, it's there's a loop process along here. So you take in the biological samples, make the biological samples, and that makes bio sludge. Now, to make the biological samples, you need to take bio sludge, mix it with cosmic water. No chemical gel to turn into green uh, green pink goo then you put the pink goo in pots then you do something to turn the pink goo into green goo pots um, then you pass that green goo along here to these to these machines where it'll get turned into more biological samples which go round so it's a loop that just produces a bit bit of excess all the way through the thing is though that this stage also requires this genetics data um, oh, and and vitamilange, but that's not a problem. So the genetics data is made as part of the uh, the general green science, and so I don't really want to be doing that in the in the recycling centre. And so I decided because of that extra step, I'm not I'm not going to create the bio sludge in the recycling centre. I'm just going to ship it out from here and try and cram it into tanks at the other end and hope there's room for it. So all of these things they produce, and then oh, and then this third machine down here, this actually washes off the um, contaminated scrap with a bit of cosmic water, um, and that produces perfectly clean scrap, contaminated scrap, uh, sorry, uh, contaminated cosmic water and contaminated bio sludge, which get fed back round again. So they, again, there's a loop going around there, and tiny amounts of uranium ore come out as well, apparently. But but all of these are sort of they. The amount that the stuff that as the stuff flows through, you get less and less of the dirty stuff and more and more of the clean stuff coming out. And eventually, you're left with just the good uh, bio, no, good cosmic water, clean bio sludge, and clean scrap. And all of that, then the clean scrap gets fed down to here, where it gets chewed up, turned into these resources, and we then pack it. Uh, oh, I need to put in the, um, the heavy oil. 
pipes. Although we don't seem to be producing very much of that, so we seem to be okay at the moment. Um, so that then gets fed into these the, the, into these um, uh, thermodynamics facilities, which will then smelt it into the, into the, met the appropriate metals. So we're taking in the copper and the vulcanite, we're producing copper plates. And at the moment I'm feeding that down this long belt all the way around here, where it's then going to get crammed into these into the stations over here. So as we as we use up the um, the copper and the steel out of this station, more of it will be packed in uh, from from this belt and, and the stone as well. So that should, in theory, work. I then, as I was doing this, I was thinking I don't like these long belts and long pipes that I've got running across the um, across the the open void of space like this. I don't I don't like it. It's it, it's a bit it's a bit horrible. And I was also thinking when when this machine was actually running, the um, this train was forever coming up here, unloading its copper. And then by the time it got back round here and reloaded, this was empty. This had used it all up again, so the train had to come back out again. So I need to, I think I need to bring things out in, in much larger quantities and unload them to here. Sorry, this is where the copper comes out and unload them in much larger quantities. So I've decided I'm going to ditch this. I'm going to ditch this whole waterfall thing, even though it looks quite pretty. And what I'm going to do is pull up this station, pull up all of these belts, and then I'm going to cram in stations all the way down here and all the way up here in order to um, essentially have a, a, a wagon loading straight out of the warehouse into into the into the uh, railway wagon and then be and then I think that's going to make mean I can load up an entire wagon full of whatever the thing is and I'll use LTN then just to summon all the trains to everywhere one of the things I did realize which I was quite pleased about is you can use multiple um, you can use with LTN you can have multiple requests in the same station like this and then to, so I can have this station unloading four or five different things so the um the solids are, are, are trivial you just put in the uh, the filter inserters so when a train pulls up here full of iridite for example these two inserters will kick into action will and empty the all of the iridite out of the wagon into these two chests these two with glass these two with uh, low density structures that'll work fine liquid fluids are slightly harder but what i believe i can do is link up these pumps to the to the, to the um, station and turn on the. Um, I need to link actually link them up for this to work. Need to put it on the net. That was wrong. There we go. No, that was the wrong thing. <laughs> oh, goodness sake! This, it bugs me a bit that LTN has three different things on each station and they all do different things when you link to them. So that's the one I wanted to link to, the, the actual station itself. So I can do read train contents out of the um, out, of, out of the train and then set these pumps, hopefully, to only pump when the thing they're supposed to be requesting is less than zero. Why has that gone red? I don't know why that's gone red. That's going to need... Maybe I can't link that into... Maybe it needs to be a separate network? I don't know. I'll have to have a, have to have a think about that. I'm going to unlink. I'm going to link that for now because it's causing problems. Don't know why it's causing problems. Maybe um, yeah. That's going to going to be something I need to have a look into. So yeah, now everything is going to be running through LTN, which should make things a lot just generally better. So this is pretty much as far as I've got now. I've um, this 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 area here is, as you can see, is going to be start making the mirrors. So once everything gets dropped off here, we can turn the iridium ingots into iridium um, plates, pass them around here. The uh, glass and the and the low density structures will come around here, and we've got the the two different liquids coming in. All that goes into these machines, and they will then pump out mirrors, which go into the stations up here, and again L LTN up the uh, everything. Um, so that should all work. That should be basically complete and and I think functional. Um, we shall wait to see if that's sort of famous last words when I uh, when I carry on playing with this, of course. But uh, I think this all should should be should be should be manageable. Should be reasonably good ideas. Um, and I'm kind of looking forward to trying it. And now that I've got now that I've got the mirrors being made, I think I can now basically just go on to start actually start to build up the science um, outposts, the the bits that are actually going to make the science packs themselves. And that I'm definitely looking forward to because that's the sort of the, the point of why I've been trying to do all of this. Okay, is that everything? I think that is everything. Um, I don't know what that station's up there. It's presumably going to be one of the science ones, but I just sort of built it and then forgot about it. <laughs> we did have a, um, uh, what do you call it, a coronal mass ejection at one point, um, which was a little bit upsetting because coronal mass ejections always are. But fortunately, all, all it did was damage the uh, railway lines down here. So um, I'm 
okay with that, I guess. It, 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 it didn't sweep in and do massive amounts of destruction, so, you know, I'll, I'll list off. Oh, and you can see I'm getting all of these errors popping up because of the um, the LTN system I'm setting up that isn't actually finished yet. So, so there's, there's, there's still stuff to do. There's always stuff to do. There's always plenty of stuff to do. But at the moment, I feel like it's kind of manageable. I don't, uh, I know what I want to do for the next sort of few hours of playtime for the next ep couple of episodes. So um, yeah, that's stuff for me to get on with. I shall report back once I've done some big chunks of that. And uh, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.